Hey, Louis. Thank you for this, Pleasure Louis. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you, sir. There we are. Um, before we start with anything, obviously you just won the uh, Goal Leader Month Award. Um, yeah. So you're getting you're getting gloves. What are they? Are they proper yeah. proper top gloves, or are we talking about snide ones from Sports Direct? What are we talking about here? Yeah, no, proper proper gloves. So uh, the one basically the one the ones Begovic wears. He's got his own own keeper uh, glove brand. Oh. Um, I think they they sponsor the league's Golden Glove Award. So um, they're now they're they top gloves. I do like them. So oh, lovely. So you're going to be like stylizing them. You know what I mean, like. Yeah, I'm going to try and get try and get a colorway that matches the kit in that. So hopefully, oh, nice. we have the wonderful Louis Rogers, who saves everything. So Louis, <laughs> you started at Eastbourne Borough. Yeah, Eastbourne Borough Academy. Yeah, yeah, yeah and that correct, was with yeah. a gentleman that we all know as Aggie, English Jose. Yeah, yeah? so you've <laughs> had a long, long, long time with with Aggie. First of all, that first yeah. when you first started off with him, what was he like? Has he changed much over the years? Is what I'm asking. Before we crack into your career, I don't, no, he hasn't. He hasn't really changed much. He's always he's always been the same up to me, like especially to me and stuff like that. I remember the first time we met. We was in Austria on a pre-season tour. He, as he come in, it was when the old managers, um, Jay Lovett and Matt Bubbs, were on their way out. So yeah, Aggie come in, and obviously, I think some of the boys that lived in Hastings and Bexhill knew who he was. I didn't know who he was at the time, but um, but now we got along straight away. I liked the way he managed. He liked the way I played. So you, so you eat Eastbourne Borough, and you, you, did, you know, you obviously did learning your trade. Um, yeah, you understudy to Lewis Carey, and. You got your big chance in an FA Cup game because Lewis got That's injured, correct. yeah. Yeah, and I, yeah. I seem to remember you, you actually, you actually went about and won that game. What was that whole experience like? Oh, first proper men's game of football. I don't know. I can't. I don't know what was going through my head when I, when I saw because obviously I, I've been on the bench a few times before that, and in, in my head I never thought like because I think I, I can't remember. I think I was sixteen at the time. I never thought I'd get the chance to sort of play there. And I remember when, like, unfortunately, Lewis went down injured. The manager at the time came over, and like, I think I was I was just in a bit of shock like, to see that he was injured. And like in my head, like trying to process that I, I could be coming on. Yeah, I think I come on and straight away had I uh, had a goal kick. And like at the time, that was a bit of pressure, like to make, just to make sure that the first thing I'd done, like I'd done it properly, mm. like I didn't mess up or anything like that. Because obviously, no one had seen me play before, and I'm sure obviously I wanted to. Obviously, make sure that the boys in front of me trusted me, even mm. though I was only 16, that we could go and win the game. And we did, so yeah, that yeah. was a good day. So moving on from that, Louis, you then went to Eastbourne Town to look for some first-team football, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, and you were, is it Nestling? Who was the goalie there? It was, oh, yeah, it great. was Greg, Greg Nestling at the time, yeah. So you were, you were understudy to him for, for a time. I mean, what was, it, was there anything yeah. you learned from him? Did you work together closely? Yeah, we used to, it was me, Greg, and obviously Rog, Roger, he was our goalie coach and yeah, he had been about, he had played like, his whole career at this sort of level, so like, he, he knew he knew things that I didn't know and I, I sort of learnt things off him as well as Roger. What, what were those sort of things though? Was it like the liberties that a forward will take or little things to pick up um, on? I think the main thing was decision making, like obviously going from playing academy football to men's football, obviously like the pace of the game is so much quicker, mm. like shots are harder. There's people do things that you don't see like when you're playing academy. But I think the main thing was decision making. I think you've got to understand the game, the men's game, for, like early on. Yeah. Was it like reading things in advance? You know, like yeah, yeah. So how like, situations can yeah. Obviously, not being naive and and rushing things if we're if we're one like or something like seeing a game out because obviously at the end of the day it's you're fighting for points in the league. It's a lot more competitive as well in men's football. Um, so it's just about understanding the game. That was the biggest like difference from like, like I had to learn in men's football. But luckily, obviously, like you said, I was understudied to to two obviously Lewis Carey and Greg Neston. So it was two keepers that that knew what they were doing, and they helped me a, a lot on the, along the way as well. One of your highlights was you 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 played uh, against Wits. Was it Wits the ball in the cup? Yeah, yeah. And you managed um, to pull off a few. Uh, I do believe is it th was it three three penalties uh, three saves yeah three yeah because you're not bad at saving penalties nah I've, well, the last couple I've been able to save but yeah I've, I've got 
I don't, I don't know. I don't know what it is. I think I just I've just been lucky. Just guess right. Made sure that I've committed one side. At the end of the day, if I save it, I save it. And luckily, I have I've done uh, for a decent amount. But yeah, no, it's always it's always nice to save a penalty. Yeah, I mean, like with you, like even yeah. when I know, obviously, Bamba got that goal. Yeah, uh, and I was, you know, we're, we're us, us fans, and I know we're biased anyway. So everyone's going to say yeah. that, but we always think you're going to save it. Yeah. I mean, what is it with the penalties? Just going off track here with the penalties, is it a trigger movements? What is it that you, you, you do save more than you don't? So it's like, yeah. you know, what is it? Do you think is there any like dead giveaways that these forwards do? I don't know. It's, it's I don't know whether it's instinct or whether mm. or whether I, I read sort of people, but some some penalty takers before. Before they sort of like when they put the ball down, some of them will sort of, they'll look at where they're going. That they won't they won't like take their eyes off it. And I sort of I pick that up, but I try not to make it too obvious for them yeah. to them to think that I know where they're going, sort of thing. Um, <laughs> and as well in in like the split second of when they're when they're doing their run up, mm. there's li- there's little, little things. things yeah. which I might be might be completely wrong, but there's little things that I, I think. Uh, me, uh, making them go one way or yeah. the other, and it's like the magic circle with the uh, magicians. Yeah. You can't give it or give away too much. So it could be some forwards watching here. The um, yeah, yeah. So after Eastbourne Town, you were obviously lured over to Hastings. Yeah. Now that happened. Was that was that um, Aggie in your ear, or was that? Was, Obviously, you wanted to make that step up. You didn't want to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, so obviously, I wanted wanted to obviously like, progress in, in my career. I think, yeah, because I think uh, Hinch was in charge. Uh, Worthen's manager, yeah. their current manager, he was in charge at the time. And obviously, Aggie called me over. I think, yeah, I played. There was another keeper. Uh, Josh Pellin was there. Yeah, he was yeah. there for a while, and then obviously it was. Um, oh, blah, I can't can't remember what's his name. Charlie. It's, it's, yeah, Charlie uh, look, no. yeah, so Josh, yeah. Yeah, J- Josh Pelling was there. Yeah. And you did you I mean you didn't really you were just the understudy then. Yeah, so I think in yeah, in the last pre-season game of that first season I went there. I can't remember who we were playing against, but I had a knock to my knee. I think I hyperextended my knee slightly. Nothing like major or anything like that. But I remember I was in crutches for a month. I was out for a couple of months. But obviously I was gutted because I, I thought I had a good pre-season as well. Mm. And then when I was fit again, just, just trying to get back into it. You did. Then you got some time. I think that they get you to dual register at Upfield, wouldn't it? That's it, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. As well as playing the under-23s for Hastings yeah. as well, weren't you? Yeah, so, so yeah. I think yeah, I was playing like one or two games a week of Upfield and then 23s were, were playing as well once a week. So I was getting like three games a week, which I, I loved at the time. Like, just football, football, football. Um, just getting back into it because I, I having like two months off, I hate, I hate not playing football. Yeah. Like even off season in the summer, I hate it. Obviously, I'll try and play football as much as I can if it's done the, done the three G with my mates and that. But mm. you don't like yeah. standing goal. You like running out as well, didn't you? So yeah, I'm sure. It, yeah. Lot, lots of the fan, lot, lots of fans I've spoken to, they're like, actually, you know what? Let him run out with it. So I mean, fullback, yeah. <laughs> goalie, goalie, fullback. With the upfield, the time at upfield, I mean, how how do you feel that helped with with playing the twenty threes? I mean, was was the coaching staff always in your ear that that we you know we're with you on this? Yes, you're at upfield, but your time will come. Again, it was more obviously just getting more as much first team experience as I could. So obviously, when I with the twenty threes games, obviously it was playing like the Hastings way, like playing out, and then on the other side of it, I was learning to deal with the physical side of things in county league football like with upfield yeah. like a very physical league like, I was getting bashed about every week obviously I'm not the tallest so but, like, I was a target sort of thing whether it's corners or anything like that so um, growing up sort of really yeah yeah like, yeah get, becoming more physical like dealing with that physical side of it yeah I mean with the 23s you won the cup didn't you I'm yeah, sure yeah, yeah, did, yeah. The... I mean who was in the, at the time who was in that 23s team I know Sammy and Dicko, they they played in that final with us. You had George Taggart, who's now at Salt Dean, who was at Hastings for a while. People like Tyler Scrafton, I believe Kane Penn was there, who's obviously still here now. Brad Pritchard, but it's ages ago. I've got a picture on my phone somewhere, I have to have a look at some point. Yeah, no, I, sorry, I caught you out there. I, 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 should have done, I should have done that research, mate. The, the, <laughs> um, you, you got one of the things that I highlight from Upfield was 
you got into kind of local media and that because of a cup run like you you had a you performed particularly well uh, and kept yeah. them in a lot of games do do you think that was the thing that kind of I mean obviously Aggie taking charge as well might have helped but like yeah. do you think that was the final thing to just say actually we need to give this boy a chance because he's he, he, you know he's tearing it up this 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 lad this this Louis lad's got talent he needs to be in our team do you think that was what what did it maybe oh. yeah obviously I, I was doing well sort of at Uckfield so whether or not I, what, the, what the main reason right. Aggie, Aggie brought me back for but um, I mean yeah obviously hopefully obviously it was to give us give me a chance and I obviously took the chance and here yeah, now because so. obviously not, not a lot of us had heard of you before yeah yeah because um, yeah. obviously Charlie was there and, yeah. then, and I mean was it expected or unexpected that he moved on I mean did you have much communication with him did you work with him much with Charlie mm. wasn't there with him long when I joined back up again, because so I think he went in the summer, or he went, yeah, so he went at the end of that season. But I, I, I got along with Charlie really well in pre in the off season. I think it was a couple of years ago. We all met up, uh, me, Charlie, and a, couple, a few other keepers. Oh, nice. uh, We've done a few sessions over the summer just to keep ourselves ticking over. Uh, being a keeper, there's not a lot of stuff that you can do either by yourself or with your mates, other than just like shots, for example. So yeah. It's nice that there was a few of us keepers so we could work on our specific things. But no, I, yeah, I got along really well with Charlie. But yeah, obviously he moved on. I think he, he moved up to Hitchin, didn't he? Yeah. I think, and I think he's got a place up there now. Right, well then, you took over. Yeah. And you've made the shirt your own. Yeah, no one's dropping you now, mate. Jesus Christ. <laughs> obviously we had the COVID season where we were superb throughout that season. Yeah. And, well, I still... And flummoxed how they worked that out that that yeah. season where we played most of their games. I mean, your I mean your your thoughts on on that season really? Yeah, I I remember I remember when we found out that they were going like, to avoid the season. I was, I was gutted. Oh, we pretty much played a full season. I think we had a few yeah. games left. Uh, we were clear top. I think yeah. I can't remember it completely, but we might have had our game in hand or something. Oh, it was um, at least a few games in hand. Yeah, 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 and. I don't know. Obviously, I think the league, like the clubs decide, didn't they? Everyone had a vote and I think everyone was just against us sort of thing. Just don't, don't let us get promoted. But I don't know. But it, it was gutting because obviously if things had worked out differently, obviously if, if COVID hadn't been around, then obviously who yeah. knows what we could have been now. But at the end of the day, obviously it's happened and we, we've got to move on from it and yeah. do right this season now. So Obviously, there was the, the, the season after that got cut off. Yeah, um, ten games in the same, wasn't it? Yeah, it's silly. I oh, know. And uh, well, but let's go to this season. I mean, first of all, obviously we had that 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 really good cup run. Yeah. Any any particular highlights from that? Yeah, chipping them. Like, yeah. The whole whole experience of travelling up and up for it. I sort of sort of what you're experiencing, what a professional footballer experiences all the time, sort of thing. Like they're travelling to games, hotels, and then preparing for the game like in a proper way rather than travelling miles on the day sort of thing to, yeah. to turn up and play sort of thing but yeah like it, the whole like experience and uh, chipping them and even Maidenhead I know it resulted in Galway but the whole atmosphere the like the pitches the standard of football like the fact that we brought our level to them sort of thing was mm. was good to see and like, it, it's, it's good experience all round it was a hard to get a beer after the game at Maidenhead for some reason, but yeah, that's another, I about yeah, it. There's no, that's another yeah, story. Definitely. And then let, let's move on to Aggie going. Um, yeah. You can understand why he's gone, you know, in terms of his own yeah. career and yeah. Um, yeah. progression. I mean, I know you touched on that about the 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 the, the law of fresh, that higher up level with the, yeah. all the preparation and things like that, and the, the amount more time you've got and to focus on your own game and not traveling and, and yeah, all the yeah. other things yeah all that obviously i said to him obviously all the best and everything like obviously because mm. obviously in his like personal development sort of things going up the going up the leagues is is, is good like for his career um it was just obviously a shock for us because obviously in, our, in all our minds we all thought like wasn't going to leave like we we're going to win the league all together sort of thing and, and, yeah. and work our way up that way it was just a shock really but no, it was it was all left on, on good terms and stuff like yeah. that so it was all it was all sweet so yeah, Aggie goes. Was it easy for Gary to just switch? Obviously, he's a dressing room leader, and yeah. uh, he's quite vocal. Yeah, yeah, um, he's he's always been a leader. 
I mean, when Aggie was there, sort of thing, our little our team huddles and stuff like that, Gaz was always the one speaking, always sort of like pumping us up as well. And I think it was just an, it was an easy decision for, for him to take over. I think it had to be, it had to be within the dressing room, like our new manager, just because yeah. of like, obviously the group of players that we were that we had, and obviously the progress we made over the last couple of years. I think it had to be. It was only right that it was someone like Gaz uh, to come in, and I think like he's done he's done a, like, a brilliant job so far. So. Yeah, what 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 is he? Is it just an organisational thing? We could just say Finn O'Mara coming in. Was, was there any d- distinct difference that he, that from say from what Aggie was was the blueprint um, for Aggie to to what Gary's doing? The, st- the style of play we're playing, um, we're, we're trying to play out when we can, which is still like obviously the main thing. But I think with Gaz is sometimes it will be a bit more like it will be a specific style of play, or like if if things aren't going our way. It'll be clear like what we're going to do the next half or like for example like even against VCD on Saturday for example yeah. obviously what what guys and John and Meany had said to me was I had like obviously different options but it was I think it was clearer as to if they were pressing what options I had and if they were dropping off what options I had sort of thing mm-hmm. whether it was playing out going over the top round the sides etc both had, both tactics were brilliant sort of thing so I can't fault both of them and yeah 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 one of one of the big changes I thought was we'd started getting niggling injuries in defence and I didn't think that had helped us uh, in the first part of the season. And that seemed to impact on everyone. I mean, we were so used to being a very tight defence. Yeah. Um, I think that the fact with Finn O'Mara coming in, I, I think he's just a monster. And yeah. um, it seemed to have immediately helped with a lot of your decision-making. Like you, it's from, And I'm only just a fan, so please tell me when I, if yeah. I'm wrong that you, you seem to be a lot more comfortable with the defence that were around you. You were very committed. Like, if you were coming out, you were coming straight out. You would, yeah. particularly, you know, you go uh, catching for, catching on the corners and things like that, or, or clearing. There was, I mean, what, how do you, how do you what, what's Finn's impact on that defence? I think it's like, it's calmness. Like, he, he looks so, he looks so chilled on the ball. Like, whether he's defending or, whether he's defending off the ball or he's got the ball at his feet, he looks chilled. He looks comfortable. And I think that's sort of, that, rubs off for of me because then if I know that obviously my centre half's in front of me like they're if they're comfortable and they're they're happy sort of thing then like, then it, it makes me feel more comfortable and mm. and, and happier so like, I, I, I didn't realise when he first came in I didn't realise how old he was I didn't realise he was younger he's a year younger than me but I thought because of his size and I thought yeah you think he's not yeah <laughs> yeah and, and obviously like as it, how he is as a defender I thought yeah I thought he was older because he's a really good defender so yeah, he, he does seem to play with an older head, you know, like he seems yeah. to... Yeah, he doesn't, if he, if he, if he's got a guy, he's no messing about, he's get, getting rid of it, he's, he, knows, he knows what he's doing, so it's good to have that in front of me sort of thing, it makes me feel better, more more relaxed, if that makes sense sort of thing, knowing that their decision making is correct and obviously, and then it helps me in my decision making, whether it's coming for a ball or letting them deal with it. Yeah, I mean, like, I'll really talk about the VCD game quickly, I think you pulled off a couple of cracking, well, at, at least two cracking saves... Yeah. Uh, in a, a game that we quite easily could have lost, you know, that they, they were they obviously they got like Bamba. It I was mean, hard to break down. It's yeah, give him any, give him any space, and he's a nightmare. Yeah, yeah. that game it annoys me. That game, just official wise, but I'm not going to go into it too much. Yeah, yeah, you can't go into it, but I can. Yeah, there's a there's, you, yeah, you can. Yeah, I can. I mean, you're but you you're, fans are biased. Yeah, there's no way yeah. they're not right. But I, I remember it was, I think it was for the second goal, the challenge in midfield that they gave. That they got the free kick for. Yeah, and yeah. it was like, you are having an absolute, like, that is, Yeah. it was just, I noticed there was a few calls coming from the linesman. Yeah. I think, I'm not sure if it was, was it first? I think it was first half. And the linesman wasn't looking. Like he, he would give one thing, he weren't looking, and then he's giving something out. And it's like, you're, you're, you're going on reaction. Yeah, and, um, yeah. I, I think mean, it was the same for the penalty. I think the ref went on reaction. Well, I mean, I, w- I was asking their goalie because we were behind their goal. And like, yeah. um, I, I, what was the pen for, mate? I was asked genuinely. I didn't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He didn't know. Yeah. And then he says, yeah, it's pen. No one's arguing. And I'm like, okay, but do you know what it's for, Matt? And he, he didn't know. So Yeah. Um, yeah, I think the thing that got me was because he didn't even give Finn a yellow card. And I think if he had actually seen... If it, if it was if he's given the pen off his own like view, yeah, Finn would have been yellow carded. But the fact that he didn't give him yellow card just shows me that 
he went off reaction, didn't know what happened, and he's just he's got like he's got with that, but at the end of the day it's what it is, but yeah, yeah, no, that was yeah, a little bit annoying. I mean, um, yeah. yeah, some of the standouts this season. I mean, I think you know, we've we obviously got some of the younger lads in on uh, Marcus and Finn and and I mean obviously Tom is um oh, he's you know, he glides with the ball. Yeah. I mean you've also got Dicko who's you know you know, he wasn't always in, and now he's. I think he's having. I mean, I think he's been fabulous the last few games. Yeah, Dicko. yeah he's he's solid. Like, he, like yeah, him in midfield, he's solid. Like, he gets stuck in. He does. He covers every blade of grass. Like, his, his stats at the end of the game. Like, he, he runs a lot. He, he does a lot for the team, and it's it's, it's big for us. Yeah, I mean, obviously, Popey. Yeah. Um, and now, obviously, he's a dad, so yeah. he's he's you know he's getting all those wake ups now, and he's and he's and throwing still, defenders around still. Yeah, he's still throwing everyone about, still performing well. Yeah, yeah, fair play to him. But like, I no sleep and still managed to run around the pitch for ninety minutes. So Unbelievable. I mean, who's your favourites in the team? Is there any ones that you knock about with, or is there anyone, any any of the lads in the team that um, are good for banter? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I get, I get along with everyone. A lot of the boys are Hastings boys. So obviously, I'm from Eastbourne, um, so I've got quite oh, a little bit of school. Yeah, yeah. So we've got me, Ryan, Popey, and Nori. Uh, so a little car school. So we obviously all travel up together all the time. A bit of banter in the car and stuff like that on the way there and back. But yeah, uh, I think that's like that's car school number like five now. I've had so many different car schools that I've been a part of, like from obviously players that have come and gone, like Jake as well, like last season. He was yeah. a big hole. He was a big hole once he left, because you know we were used to that player that come in who just up that right hand side. Yeah. And Tom's, Tom's took over. I, I think he's making that his own now. What, what's your thoughts on that, Louis? Yeah, I mean, before obviously when TC was playing out on the wing or up front, I was I know in my head I think like, he's. You would never think to put him as a right back, um, and I think when when Gaz did stick him right back one game, we like, I was like, like you know, he said, oh, he just glides. I don't know if he does it. Like, I can do it myself. If I was running, I'd loot. I would have lost it straight away. But he, you know, I don't know. He just it's simple, simple gliding, but he, he, he does it like really well. Well, I don't want to go back to that VCD game. I think he got hard done by. There was a few that went in on him that I thought that uh, the ref should have picked up on, but yeah, yeah. Was sounding bitter here. Gary Elfrick, manager of the month. Yep. Uh, Louis Louis Rogers, goalie of the month. So when you win it next month, do you <laughs> get a different set of gloves, Louis? Uh, I believe so. Yeah. 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 I think it's it's obviously it's per award, so. Yeah. <laughs> Fingers crossed. But, hopefully. You know what I'm going to ask you, all right? First of all, is it is it going to be our season this year? Yeah. It's going to be our season. <laughs> yeah. too. Our season. Yeah. So our season, we, 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 we're going to smash it this year, aren't we? Right. Yeah. Uh, any last thoughts out to those Hastings fans that are going to watch this? Thank, thank you, everyone. Obviously, your, your commitment week in, week out. Obviously, coming to every, all the games, breaking the record on Saturday, 2017, I think it was, wasn't it? Yeah, keep doing what you're doing because obviously it helps us massively. How loud you lot are on a Saturday or Tuesday, no matter where we are, sort of thing. It, it drives us, it pushes us on. So, uh, thank you. And, um, and we'll go again on, on Saturday. So appreciate every one of you. Yeah. Louis, just quickly, your song, you, you don't mind it? Yeah, no, I like it. No, yeah. No. Oh, just so someone asked me about that. They said, Well, what do you think of the song? I, said, I don't know. I'll, I'll <laughs> ask him. <laughs> Good song. Uh, Louis, absolute pleasure. Yeah. Love to have you on again. Maybe come on a round table one time. Um, yeah, definitely. With the yeah. Fans. Thanks a lot, chap. And um, I'll, well, I'll see you at the game. Yeah, I'll see you on Saturday. Yeah, take care, mate. Thank you for having me. Cheers. Go!